welcome back to another video um this is just gonna be a little update video trying to get this jeep on its way again yeah i stopped right here after i made the bumper and uh and i'm gonna try to go ahead and continue on and get to the fenders what i want to do i'm gonna go ahead and transition over and start to work on the rear and knock out the, this side of the uh, vehicle and try to level out everything and see what I could come up with because all this stuff that I'm doing is out of my head. I already taped off this back in. What's on tape, I'm gonna go ahead and spray foam it. I'll run a piece of cardboard and start to foam out this area. We're gonna try to push forward with this build. Try to make it as fast as possible. I don't wanna repeat the same thing over and over and over. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and just do a lot of time lapses on the new on the next videos that's coming up and uh and see if we could push it like that. Let's just keep watching. Hopefully you guys inter um, is entertaining enough to to keep you guys motivated to watch. So alright, here we go. All right, we had enough of that. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try to continue on. I'm gonna move the car into the carport. Okay, my thoughts on this uh, this build. Uh, yeah, the front came out a little plain. I really like it though, but um, I have some other plans for the front front of the bumper. This is the front shot. Thinking I'm gonna go ahead and um, build a lip for it. A lip. I guess with a little bit of canards coming up the sides, go down and wrap around to the front uh, to give it a more of an aggressive, aggressive look. It has, it's cool, it looks more stockish than the aggressive look what I'm trying to look for. Um, yeah, this is the side so far. And I started to foam the back. So this is the profile. Um, Foam is going to be going, coming all the way down and flow along the bottom edge to fill in that bottom. And um, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this, how, how it looks so far. If you guys like it or what I could change on it or improve on it. So far, that's what I got. 
Like I said, I'm gonna work on this side, faster side fully, and then I'll transfer all the, um, I'll transfer all the measurements to the driver's side once the passenger side is how I really uh, want it to look. But uh, so far it looks pretty good with fenders. I'm gonna have to flatten that out and straighten it up. I'm gonna have an air dame inside here or whatever you call it. Yeah, another outlet for the uh, air to either escape from out of the fenders from behind, let the, um, the air escape from the fenders, or it will be ducted into the engine bay. Um, not too sure if I'm gonna do that because, not too sure if I'm gonna do that. If um, I go ahead and um, do a wind tunnel, a wind chamber behind the fender to escape the air from getting trapped behind the fender, it's not a race car. And the fender's not that far away from the firewall, so not too sure if I'm going to do that or if I might just duct it into the engine bay for another air escape. Uh, I'm not too sure. Well, like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comments and check it out. All right, that's gonna be it for this video today. Um, like I said, hit down, go down in the comments below. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the build so far, how it looks. Um, give me some input. I only have certain ideas in my head and I'm trying to build off of what I think will look good and it'll be good to get some help, some ideas. I did do a 3D model of the car, but I started to build it and it looks nothing like the 3D model so I think I might just go with that and do it more organic and just go ahead and let the body lines flow. Yeah so hit that like button if you guys enjoy the video so far, videos so far and uh, yeah like, comment, subscribe, post notification, all that good stuff. You know what to do. I'll check you guys later. Peace.